And we're back for a Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes video. Thank you guys so much for watching my channel. I so much appreciate your support. And we have Territory Wars in full swing. I know a lot of you were able to do the beta. I personally was not because I am on iPhone. I wasn't able to, to do it. I know there are ways to do it on an emulator, but it didn't work out for me. Um, so this was my first go at Territory Wars, and I was so excited about it that I said, I got to make a video on this and give some initial reaction. So that is what I'm going to do in this video and as always let me give a quick shout out to my buddies at gaming-fans.com go ahead check them out when you get the chance they're also on twitter at gaming fans dfn and today i am actually joined by a special guest his name is scott o and scott o has been doing a new podcast to Star Wars Galaxy Heroes called the Cheat Code Visa that all of you need to check out. And I actually just joined him for his new podcast that's going to be releasing here pretty soon, if not already. You guys definitely need to check that out. What's going on, Scotto? What's up, dude? How you doing? Dude, it's nice to see your face on YouTube again. I understand you used to have a YouTube channel for, what was it, Destiny? Yeah, it's still going strong. I was a Twitcher for a while, and they okay, didn't partner okay. me in a bunch of weird stuff. So now I'm back on YouTube. I don't do much with Swagath on there. We just do the podcast. But yeah, okay, YouTube's okay. great. I'm glad to be here. Right on. And you guys definitely need to check out his podcast. In fact, it was a smaller podcast. So when I heard it and, and Scott had said, hey, do you want to come on our show? I thought, oh, well, you know, it looks like a kind of new podcast. And I listened to it, and I thought, holy crap. This is very, very solid quality. One of my new favorite podcasts to listen to. I listen to it when I'm on my way home from work. I wish you had more episodes, but you're working on that because you're just getting started. So go ahead and check that out. So today we are going to talk about Territory Wars. We're going to give some of our initial reactions. I want to talk about some pros, talk about some cons, and maybe offer a little bit of a feedback to the developers on how we might be able to tweak this to make it even a little bit better. So, Scott, I'll let you, you're, you're the guest on my channel. What are some of your initial reactions this to is great, Territory Wars? We just got done doing the podcast where you were the guest, and now it's like I feel like I'm like coming home. I get the, I now, get the prime now spot. Now you're in my house. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I get the prime spot. I'm back on YouTube. So, <laughs> uh, I'm going to say I'm overwhelmingly positive. Uh, I give it an 87% positive rating. I really do like it. I like the fact yeah. that it's not so sweaty that uh, it's a little bit more fun, and I'm fighting kind of teams that I'm used to. I'm used to fighting these arena teams. I'm used to fighting these squads, so I think it's great. And both of our guilds are very similarly powered, so we have yeah. a, a, a very unique instance here where you and I have almost the same experience, so we share this even more, mm -hmm. and the community, I think, will grow from this. I'm really, really happy. Yeah, I share your sentiment. I, I'm super stoked about it. In fact, for the first time, I would say for the first time in a long time, I was glued to my uh, Galaxy of Heroes game app today. Usually I'm glued to Discord. I'm talking to people, I'm socializing, I'm thinking about videos that I'm gonna do and that kind of thing. But today, the predominant thing that I was doing is checking the progress of Territory Wars. I love this game mode. Some pros that I see with it. Number one is the strategy component for Territory Wars is so different than anything we've ever encountered in this game. I really like trying to plan on, you know, where are you gonna stack your guilds a strength where are you going to maybe put some of the weaker teams are you going to try to make people push up towards the ship territories are you going to maybe try to backload or front load that kind of thing i, I think it's just, the strategy and the way that this game mode works out i think is is really really fun what, what do you think about this strategy component of it yeah i love it i think it's great and and i like the fact that the the new guild tools allow us to quickly access what we need to do oh. our guild leaders are telling us where to go where to attack we're doing it accurately, and we're sticking to our plan, and I I'm, I'm all in. I think with a couple small tweaks, Good. this is going to be great, and I really do enjoy it. I love the strategy of it. Uh, you've got, you know, fastest to the ships. You've got backload the front, backload the, the back territories. It's all over the place, and I think you can do anything, and multiple strategies can work. I don't think it's a yeah. one-strategy game, and that's what I love most totally. about it, I think. Yeah, and I think every territory war is going to be different. Based on how has how the guild lined up their defense? How have you decided to line yours up? Are you going to shake it up from how you did it last time? Do the exact same thing? That kind of thing. And, and you mentioned the the, uh, the guild orders. And I, I was laughing so hard today because we, we were putting custom messages in there that were getting kind of funny. And towards the end, my guild uh, beat, beat the whole guild uh, completely before they beat us. 
and the last territory it just said execute order 66 <laughs> that's good we haven't beat ours yet i'm actually checking in mine oh. right now and we're still going strong actually i i stand corrected we just beat it we're wiped oh, they've got they, congrats we, they both wiped so we are dead tied right now so yeah i'm i'm actually checking mine out right now and the last i checked we had um 20 20 teams left um, and, but they were all General Kenobi Barris teams, and right now, let me oh, just go in. Zeris, you dirty girl. And right now, ooh, we are down to one team oh, left. Oh, so you're falling. That means you're going to be the most same as us. Unfortunately, yeah. Most unfortunately, we are probably going to end in a tie here. And that kind of comes to some of the feedback that I have. Now, my personal, the only complaint I personally have with this game mode, and that's saying a lot. For territory battles, there was like a long list, and, and we had a lot of things that needed to be addressed. Uh, same for Heroic Tank. Uh, we even had to nerf Heroic Tank, at least on the normal side of things. Uh, but for Territory Wars, I love everything. I love the way the whole mechanic works and all of it. The only complaint I have is ties. And ties, I think, are going to be pretty common. And for those of you who don't know, if you tie with the other guild, the result of that tie is both guilds get second place. Yeah. Yeah. And, and and that is that just doesn't sit very well with me, especially because it seems to me like especially these higher guilds, you know, when you're at 100 million plus galactic power, it seems like it's pretty likely that both guilds are going to complete both territories completely um, or both maps completely. And then you have the same potential for banners. And so as a result, there's going to be a lot of ties, in my opinion. Yeah, and, and we spoke about what we think we should do. My suggestion was every time your team successfully defends against an attack, you get banners. So if my team and I ends up taking that. two teams to kill, we get banners. And I think that's yeah. the good, or you could count them whatever you want to do. And and you and I have come up with a lot of solutions for this, and I think they're all yeah. viable. Now, having yeah, that, said all that. My, that's my number one. That, that is the number one thing that I think should happen to break those ties because it plays into the strategy of it. You yep. get more penalized for sending somebody in and failing. You can't just strategize and say, okay, I'm going to dump a bunch of teams down to knock the protection down and then take them out. No, because you're going to lose ground if you do that. So it's a new strategy component. Another thing that you could do instead is, um, and this might be a more simple calculation, is the leftover galactic power of the remaining guilds. If you tie, yeah. who has more galactic power left over or who, who did it in less battles that could be another simple way to do it yep that then it becomes a utilization game and i like that as well because yeah. that increases your strategy and i think marvel contest of champions does it similar to that I, i've heard that before for anyone who plays it they'll have to let me know in the comments but i think that's how they do it yeah that's interesting and i like i support yeah. all this and we have to give a so shout out to cg because i think they will listen to this and i think we'll see changes and people yeah. like you in the game changers will, will will increase their amount of feedback that they receive and I bet you we will see a tiebreaker mechanism in the near future. I really hope we do, and I'm, I'm definitely pushing for it hard. I know a lot of the other game changers feel the same way, so we're going to be sure to send that their way, and I'll, I'll drop this video over there and say, hey, t watch this video. <laughs> you can you can s snail mail it over to them in a USB drive, just so they that you, you can, and make them sign for it so you know they got it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so at the end of the day, though, I think we're both pretty high on Territory Wars. I think this was a very, very good move uh, for the game. It's an, a really exciting new game mode that I think is making the game new and exciting and great timing because we got a brand new Star Wars movie coming out here in just two weeks, and I am so excited for The Last Jedi. I will be sure to tell you guys what I think about the movie once it comes out. But hey, Scotto, thank you so much for joining me on my channel. It was great having you, man. Hey, thanks again for being on the podcast, Chico Visa, and as well as having me on the YouTube channel. You can check me out, youtube.com. Scotto, and all the links are all over the place. You can just Google Chico Vita. It's available everywhere you want for your podcast, iTunes, Google, all that stuff. Thanks again for having me. I really appreciate it, and I hope we can do it again soon. Absolutely, hopefully, and I hope to be on your podcast again soon or, or bring you back on my channel at some point if the stars align. And hey, if you guys like this video, if you think Scotto's cool, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, turn on the notifications so that you can be the first to know when I post a new video. And as always, don't forget. My dead body. Sorry about the mess.